Hey guys, how's it going? It's Ape Eric. Welcome back to the channel. So just a couple days ago, it was finally announced that this E3 will be an all digital event. So because of the, uh, you know, the pandemic, there won't be having an actual like E3 on site location. This is going to be the first all digital E3 event, but there's been some big announcements coming out of it, including the official return of some companies back to E3, albeit in a virtual setting. I mean, things really aren't changing. Uh, for example, Nintendo has always had their own presentation online anyway, but it's still pretty, pretty good. Uh, these companies are backing the digital only E3 as much as we would want a big huge e3 event to happen it doesn't look like it's in the cards but we have some info so let's take a look at this news from gameindustry.biz i know this news is a couple days old but i just kind of wanted to cover it and give my thoughts on it so nintendo xbox and ubisoft backed digital only e3 2021 but playstation and ea remain absent now i don't know if this has since been updated if playstation is going to be on board or not this is e3 2021 will return this june in digital form and has been backed by nintendo xbox capcom konami ubisoft take two warner brothers and cock media so some some heavy hitters it's a strong lineup especially with two platform holders on board however there are some notable absentees including sony ea activision blizzard sega bandai namco and square enix the event takes place between June 12th and June 15th, so there's still time for other publishers to sign up. And I'm sure they will. I'm sure all the other companies will join in if they haven't already. I'm kind of slow on this news. Um, but yeah, it, it looks like they're trying something different because of obvious situations and the more the merrier. So let's see how this shapes up. Now it says this show will be online only, but very little details are available besides that. The press release states that developers will be showcasing their latest news and games directly to fans around the world with the ESA working with media to amplify and make this content available to everyone for free. So um, I know back in the day they would do like media days and then there's also like what YouTube would have like their own E3 thing with uh jeff keely and things like that we have several different virtual presentations already on top of like i guess the official e3 show but now e3 is going to make its own um digital thing so this goes on to say for more than two decades e3 has been the premier venue to showcase the best that the video game industry has to offer while uniting the world through games said esa ceo stanley pierre Luis. We're evolving this year's E3 into a more inclusive event, but we'll still look to excite the fans with major reveals and insider opportunities that make this event the indispensable center stage for video games. So, I'm not sure if, if this. The, to me, um, this is sounding like there's going to be media only days, uh, where people won't see what's going on behind closed doors. Uh, and then whatever we do see comes in the form of presentations. Um, I'm sure we won't be missing anything. Uh, we will get reveals and everything like that. If people are concerned about the E3 experience being tarnished, um, I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be all right. I think they're going to make it a pretty worthwhile event. Now, the thing is, I hope they don't try to charge for virtual access. That would kind of be annoying. <laughs> so this goes on to say it's been a challenging 12 months for the games event business but e3 was under pressure even before the pandemic with long-term supporter sony announcing it wouldn't be attending the show last year so definitely interesting to see who's going to be coming in who's all in on the e3 virtual event no other details have been given are they going to be charging for access to certain virtual events and panels and things like that? I know there's uh, Upwork, which is like Re Long Island Retro. They have their own like online retro gaming convention where they charge people access to panels and events and stuff like that in a virtual vendor room. I'm curious if they're going to do something like that for E3. Um, honestly, I kind of liked what YouTube had going on with Jeff Keighley. I like Nintendo doing their own thing, but I guess... They feel that it's time to unite as a gaming industry with E3 this year. It's going to be interesting to see how it just goes along together. Let me know your thoughts about that. I know some of you guys out there are kind of like, eh, E3's lame. I, E3's kind of, 
something that I don't pay attention to and stuff like that. For me, I follow it because obviously for the channel, I like to cover some topics and stuff. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. As always, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. Have a great day.